tonight, a follow up to a community conversation in Central Falls on school safety. Good evening. I'm Mike Montecalvo. As we first told you on Eyewitness News Live at 5, over on WPRI 12, the mayor of Parkland, Florida, was a member of tonight's panel remarking on her experiencing handling the school shooting in her city that killed 17 people last year. While many of the panelists at tonight's event say there needs to be more gun control to ensure school safety, the president of the Second Amendment Coalition tells us they're going in the wrong direction and that gun-free zones don't work. Eyewitness News reporter Caroline Goggin moderated tonight's discussion. She joins us now from Central Falls with more. During tonight's discussion here at Central Falls High School, the mayor of Parkland, Florida, said every school community in the country should have a school safety plan in place. But she said if that plan isn't properly implemented or followed with fidelity, it means nothing. She says everyone in the school community needs to be trained and everyone needs to be made aware. The ripple effects are enormous. A school shooting can affect any community at any time. That was the message of Parkland, Florida Mayor Christine Hunchkovsky as she joined a community conversation in Central Falls Monday night. The topic, how to better improve school safety. Central Falls Police Chief James Mendonca, who was one of the panelists, says he believes communities need to get better at identifying mental health issues. Having relationships where people feel comfortable speaking with, so with uh, either their parents or teachers or the law enforcement so we can preempt it. So we're not responding, we're actually proactive in dealing with these type of things. The chief also says schools need to be secured and that sensible gun legislation should be passed. Gun control top of mind for panelist Lorraine Quintero, a student at Central Falls High School. There shouldn't be the ability for somebody to bring a gun onto a school campus and hurt a bunch of student and staff. Um, it's unsettling. Mayor Hunchkovsky said that the proper agencies need to listen to threats, especially after the FBI admitted it did not act on a tip about the confessed shooter in Parkland. It's very angering to know that um, the FBI had a tip and overlooked it. Parkland's mayor says while her city is still healing, a lot has changed since the shooting at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School. She says Florida legislators have worked to ensure more funding is allocated for mental health awareness in schools. They've also passed a law that would take away weapons from anyone who appears to be at risk to themselves or others. Similar to the red flag bill, Governor Raimondo signed into law last year. And here in Rhode Island, Governor Gina Raimondo is once again pushing for a package of gun control bills, including a bill that would ban guns on school grounds, with some exceptions. As we've reported, Second Amendment advocates oppose that bill, saying that it makes schools a soft target. Reporting in Central Falls, I'm Caroline Goggin, Eyewitness News.